right around 8 p.m. streets are practically dead hello everyone welcome back to the channel okay so Hong Kong we got into Hong Kong with no problem I was surprised because I had to do a PCR test nobody asked me for any information about it I mean there was a site where you had to fill out some um, documentation online and answer some questions basically about your vaccination status and whether or not you have the PCR test that was it and I remember when I checked Cathay Pacific site they did say that you should have the paperwork on you because you may be randomly asked for it when you're in the country. But I don't recall anybody um, ahead of me, uh, next to me, where I uh, going through immigration. Nobody basically asked for that stuff. And it was odd, like you got the paperwork, everything is good to go, but nobody asked for anything. So unless the documentation was filled out online, it was in the computer system and they checked that and it was good. But I recall when I did the trip to Singapore, they still asked for it even though you um, might fill it out online just to make sure everything was good to go. So anyhow, we got in. It was not a problem. I went downtown um, pretty much around the daylight at that point. So here's some clips from the downtown area of what Hong Kong looks like now that it's been open for tourists. Okay, so I'm back in Hong Kong, we're down in the shopping district. Normally the streets would be packed with people, but this is it right now. Got not many cars down here either. So we have to stop over before we get up to uh, Cebu, the Philippines. So we came down here just to see what things are like, what the differences are, what have changed. Definitely a lot of folks here, tourists and so on, but um, yeah, not as busy. Some of the stores that I used to know, I went to try to pass by and check them out and they were closed. But some places are still open. So I'll see what I can get to and take some more videos to show you guys what's been happening here. This section is the famous ladies market. Not as crowded as I recall, but again, it is a Monday night, so it's not too bad. <laughs> Here's where you come and you can get all your knockoff clothes and everything else that you can purchase at a less costly price. So the street is not as crowded as it used to be, but it's, at least there are things happening here, so that's something. The city is coming back. There's actually stalls set up. So it's a start. So here's another main cross street. And over here you have Broadway, which is an electronic store. Wouldn't you know it? They're advertising our camera. But yeah, Broadway is one of these places I usually check out for electronics. So I'm gonna pop in there and see what prices are. Usually here in Hong Kong, it's about 10% less than the US and no taxes. And in, even some of the um, off brand stores you find. You can negotiate prices. I've been buying my cameras here for years. They come with an international warranty, so I'm not worried about warranty issues. And again, the savings make it a good bargain. Well, as you see in the video, the country is open, but there's not a lot of people here. Um, didn't see too many tourists. Everyone looks like there were locals that were shopping in the area. So yeah, um, some of the markets uh, were not open. We passed by the ladies market area 
and it's not as crowded. Well, actually, many of the stalls that used to be there are not there. So yeah, while it's reopening, I think it's going to be pretty much like Thailand when we first came here. It was just kind of quiet, not much happening. But yeah, you know, if you guys are thinking about coming, yeah, Hong Kong has always been a great place for shopping. Still see them the same way. Oh, speaking of shopping, before I forget, I was looking around for like some headphones and so on and realized uh, everybody seemed to have limited stock. And I guess that goes back to the fact that there were equipment shortages or part shortages all this time. But also, those who are open are probably not keeping a lot of stock if they don't have a lot of people to sell to. So there is that. But um, I did see Matt Granger's video. He's been in Hong Kong for a while and he's been getting equipment for B&H Photo. I'm sure there's some stuff that can be sourced locally, but I'm looking forward to the time when I can head back over there and you know, purchase some things. There is something else I did notice. Let me switch hands here. This thing is kind of heavy. Um, when I was at the airport, Cathay Pacific seemed to be the only hairline that was in the Hong Kong um, terminals. There were some Hong Kong airlines, but there were no foreign carriers, none. Of course, uh, before we headed out to the Philippines, we did notice that we were doing a code share with Cebu Pacific and um, Air Canada on our same Cathay Pacific flight. So I guess everybody's kind of just letting Cathay Pacific handle anything that they would have normally in the past. So uh, maybe in the next few months, things will open up and get better. But we'll have to wait and see how that works out because as it stands right now, Cathay Pacific seems to be the only game in town that's flying into Hong Kong airport. And also there was construction going on. I didn't get um, any pictures of that because it was kind of cloudy when we were landing in the evening. Uh, when we taxied out, there were only um, Cathay Pacific airplanes parked all over the place. We didn't go the same direction in which we landed, meaning like on the other side to the other um, runway. So I couldn't get any pictures of the uh, construction going on here. But anyhow, as I said, Hong Kong is not open. If you're thinking about going, um, check the regulations and the record the, if you're thinking about going check the restrictions and see what they're asking for get the paperwork get the um, vaccinations updated and get your PCR test if it's required always remember to check the websites early to find out what you need before you travel because of course they do ask for some things at the airport oh and funny I said that they didn't ask me about any of the medical requirements at the airport well they did for the Singapore for um, the Philippines because we were connected, but they didn't check and see if we're going to be connecting overnight. I guess they expected us to stay in the airport. I don't know. The Hong Kong people were cool. We got in. It was fine. All right. I'll update my Philippines trip um, in a couple of days. All right. See you guys next time.